Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back. All right, so today I am at all D. All D. Um, yeah. I only came for like two, three things, but you know, it's Thursday for you. We gotta see what they got. They might have some else that we need that we don't even know we need until we see it. That don't make no sense, but y'all feel me. So let's go in here and see what they got. By the way, this is Helen. So if this is the first time that you're seeing my face, welcome to the channel, friend. We about to go up in here and um we don't need nothing. We really don't. It's Penny's birthday. We're not really doing much today. She has cupcakes, cupcakes that I picked up from um, Sam's. It's the, um, I think it's eight pack with all the different funny looking cupcakes on it. And then she wanted uh, some mini um, bite like size cupcakes or cookies. So if they had them, I'll pick the cookies up from here. And then um, she just asked for nachos. We already have something planned for her for her birthday that I've already paid for. So <laughs> that in itself is enough. But of course she got gifts. Y'all know how we do. She got gifts. My mom's coming over, all that good stuff. So really and truly, I'm just coming here to get ground turkey. Mm. There we go. So all the fruit look good. Nothing's really on sale though. But it looks good. Um, looks like the grapes are on sale. We don't really need any right now. Oh girl. Yeah, I know these were per pound. I was just saying the bags look like they were a pound bag. I know, someone told me that it was per pound. I know, it's a lot. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna grab some of these chips because they're less expensive and they're thin like the restaurant style. So they like these better than those, like those chips. So let me grab a couple. Girl, I did not know they sold this here. I'm gonna doctor it up anyway, so I'm not tripping. I had no idea. This is three dollars here and eight nine cent. Girl, this is like six and eight dollars everywhere else. Even the off brand. <sighs> Listen, my kids don't get this often, but when they get it, honey. I let them have it. All right, so I got one block and this, and then they're going to have to have some on the, on the side besides just nachos. Girl, I done passed up the cookies and everything in the, uh, in the bakery section. <laughs> just that fast. So this is what they have. Muffins, donuts. Oh, my kids love them white donuts. Lemon cake. St. Patrick cookies. When do I have sprinkles at home? I'm not gonna really stay though because it's already iced. Um, Seven Up cake. Um, shoot, I'm about to go get them cupcakes. From where though? Hmm. All right, just stop and see if it's anything new over here. Hey, you see this right here? Electrolyte solution. If you're ever dehydrated. Get the Pedialyte or the baby formula or the electric light, electrolyte solution. Like, you know, sick, vomiting, anything like that. Girl, you'll instantly feel better. Just a tip from me to you. It replaces your electrolytes. It's so much better than um, Gatorade and all that other stuff. They have that sugar that's bad for your teeth. That is so much better for you. They say Jumbo, but I don't think this is, this is not Queen though. I don't think they come in queen. They just come in this one size, 20 by 28. Uh, I think you need queen pillows. Girl, this still not on sale. Like why? Oh man, they don't look like they're big enough. I might have to get the ones from Costco. I don't know. I don't wanna be touching on. So this is 49. Wow, it's so soft. Okay, they still got this stuff up here too. These are finally. What is this corner tool? This 
is like my mat. I like this mat. It's thick, durable. I've had mine for years. $3.49. What are these? $6.99? What is this? Lemon macaroon? Sea salt rain. Um, wow, okay. These have no throw. None whatsoever. Don't buy that. They haven't marked these down yet. I mean, they can just mark them down to 20. I'm getting one. It just feel like once you wash it though, it's not gonna be worth it. It's already kind of fuzzy. Yeah, I don't know about that. But I'm gonna get one anyway. Flannel Street says, well yeah, they should mark it down. Where the girl we in Texas? These are pretty though. Seven ninety-nine. So I don't think everything's out. I just heard him as the guy to bring out all the all these finds that's supposed to be out for the week. So I don't even think they brought them out, y'all. Which means I'm either to come back later today or tomorrow to see what's new at all these. Look at this. 24, 34 for a trash can. They have all these candles. They're kind of late though with that. Huh? Hmm. Oh, this smells good. Vintage glass. This is pretty. Eucalyptus line. Girl, that smells good. <laughs> They're five dollars. White tea citrus. And this one is raspberry pound cake. Oh, wow. Those smell good. Now these are luxury candle or reed diffusers. I wonder what they're supposed to smell like. Pomegranate, almond macaron, and then, what does it say? Mold cherries. Okay, let me smell this. I don't know about the hot throw, but these things smell amazing. Like amazing. This pomegranate one smells like a real designer candle. This almond and macaron, I'm getting that. I wish they had the diffuser for it, but they only had a lime and basil one. And I don't want that. Um, the mold cherry smell good, girl. This smells so amazing. Yeah, they need these in larger sizes. I would pay for that. All right, so look, they got 2022 calendars out. Like, come on. The shipping everywhere sucks because you know, we are already in March. So this is a good price for this. It used to be $6.99. Don't need a water jug, but it's the Zach jug. If you're interested, it's a straw. Yeah, I like it with the straw. Odor grab air cleaner. That's interesting. By Febreze. Silicone face cleaner. Okay. All right. I don't see none, y'all. If they got weighted blankets, you know this is from winter. Because here in Houston, nobody wants that in the summer. Alright, so they're going to put the stuff out now. And I'm going to come back. Because it's all in the middle of aisle. Uh, what's that? Seafood jambalaya. Mm, okay. Alright, so my kids did not like these. They said they were nasty. Um, they tried the salmon power bites. They like those. All right, y'all. So that was a fail for today. <laughs> I told them I'll come back later, early in the morning, and see what they have. But um, so it's probably gonna be a short vlog today. So um, I did. I just got through eating some chips and some of that um, pico stuff. I was hungry. I did get the chips. I did get the uh, cheese. I did pick up some of these because there are two forty nine. And um, I want to say last year, I don't know why I thought they were three something, but whatever, $2.49 is a really good price in my opinion. So I did pick up some flowers uh, for pollinators. I got the six lily and this is the blackout lilies. I've never grown these before. I did pick up um, the Kana 
And these are the Robert Kemp Connor uh, plants. These are good for um, butterflies, dragonflies, all that good stuff. So, yeah. We just need some pollinators, honey, in the garden. How many come in here? So, this is one. So, I don't know if this is going to grow like a bush or something, but I do have one, one, two. I have like four or five pots outside. So, what I'm going to probably do is put one in one pot and just see with nothing else and just see how it does and see how it grows. And then, of course, I've grown these before, the Dutch Iris. Um, so, yeah, I can't wait to see these. So, this one has 20 in here. So, what I'll probably do is put them in a pot and then um, maybe mix them in within my garden. I need to read on them first because I can't remember. One of them I know was self-pollinate. So, I, I kind of got to be careful. Like, I like it when they self-pollinate because that way every year you don't have to see it again. It'll reseed itself. But, yeah. All right. So, let me turn the light on. I'm sorry, y'all. I just realized I didn't have the um the light on. All right, so I did end up picking up this candle, and people were in there trying to get all of them. So, y'all, this smells so good. I can't tell you what it reminds me of, but it definitely reminds me of a fragrance. And, yes, yeah, so this is what it looks like, a small, pretty black candle. So, I'm put it over here. And, um, yeah, that's, a, that's about it. Alright y'all, so I'm taking y'all into Ross with me today. The music was blaring. Like, I've never heard this loud before, so I'm going to go ahead and mute this. But it's all good. You just get to hear my voice just for a little bit longer. I only went in here to look for vessels for my um, candles. I have a few candles around the house that I've placed, and um, they're like kind of mismatched, but they're similar scents and I'm looking for something to put them in or maybe like some real hurricanes and so that's why I ran to Ross and while I was here I figured you know I just film and show you what's new in stores or what we have in our store um but they had a bunch of goodies for outdoors I was like oh my backyard is gonna look cute so I might come back and grab a few more of these things the decor items for the backyard um just to spruce up that area one thing I have noticed is that Ross um, is having more home decor in stock. I know last year around this time we couldn't find anything, but they are really banging out these pictures. This light, bright, colorful picture. Um, I was thinking about getting that for Penelope's room. We are going to go ahead and redo her room. She finally is like, I'm ready to get my room done. So I kind of looked around while I was here too to see any kind of inspirations, pictures, or mirrors. Uh, to take a few pictures to go back and show it to her. So she can kind of get an idea of what she like, what she's thinking about. She really just don't care, to be honest. Um, she just wants you to do a new surprise her kind of thing. But I want to make sure I involve her because, you know, it's nothing like walking into a bedroom. It's not, you know, what you really want. So she does want to incorporate, incorporate some colors. She does. She likes horses and she likes those colorful pictures like this. But I'm going to make sure I find something that's representative of her culture as well. Now, for my Latina friends out there, girl, let me tell you, Ross has uh, pictures for y'all. I was like, okay, Ross. Y'all see these mirrors? These are the mirrors that are in my um, living room on the side of my sofa. People ask me about those mirrors a lot, and they're at Ross again. I want to say they were $29. So, like, you see this picture right here with the elephants? I love elephants. I don't know if she would like that picture, but I know she would like the colors. So, that's another kind of type of... She wants it colorful. I just have to be careful because she gets overstimulated and she can have too many um, things going on at one time. But anyway, um, I just made sure to take pictures of them to see if she likes them or not. But you see these very vibrant, um, they're like portraits. They're on a canvas, but you can actually feel the raised paint on them. They were so freaking pretty, so well done. Um, yeah, those are beautiful. But uh, Ross been pick, you know, pretty much producing some really nice artwork with different cultures that they are representing, and it's pretty cool to see. While we were in Mexico, um, Penelope and Christopher asked for um, dream catchers. Um, they do know the meaning of them; they understand the culture behind it as well. But 
I tell them we'll look into it. Um, but I was just looking at the different macrame things they had here. And those are cute. So I took pictures of those too to see if she was interested. Um, but while I was here, I saw this greenery, this wreath. Now, y'all did not come for this. It took a lot for me to leave this here. But I was like, this would be so cute on my door. The wreath I have on my door now, I've had that one for uh, four years now. So I was thinking maybe just a little change. I don't know. We'll see. I think everybody's ready for spring now. I think we're all over winter. I think we're all over being in a house, that gloomy, cold feeling. I think we're all ready to get outside, whether it's walking, exercising, you know, walking your dog or whatever, right? Working in the yard, just getting outside to fresh air again. And I'm excited about it. Now, it's interesting that I was looking for candle holders and vessels, right? Just to put a bunch of different candles in, different designs. And y'all, my candles get hot. I burn my candles, you know, two hours at a time, sometimes, you know, three hours and I, you know, snuff it out. And I noticed that Ross, along with other stores, are having a lot of the wicker or that other kind of light thin material as candle holders. And I'm thinking, well, if they're battery operated candles, maybe, but not fire candles in those. Let me know what you think about that. Would you put fire candles in those? Because I literally found a ton of them at Ross. Um, they had a few other little decor items that I was interested in as well. I just didn't need them and don't have nowhere to put them. And at this point, they're going to just become knickknacks. So I left them there. But I'll give you an overview of some of the items I did see. Pretty much, if you're looking for items for a bookshelf or just like some filler items, Ross had a bunch of little like small items. I'm trying to steer towards like the larger items instead of having so many small items. But yeah, this little tray they had down here, it was marble. It was extremely heavy. I thought about getting it for Penny, but she's not going to have too much room on her desk once we put this um, fish tank on there as well as her light and her little vanity area so i'd left it but i thought about it because it was really cute and it was pink now i saw something really pretty for my bling ladies um i like bling but not in my house it, it would get overwhelming maybe for the holiday season when you're putting out like I'm using them as chargers or something like that. I, I do like them for that. The smaller one was nine. I think the middle was like 12 and then up 14 or something like that. But they were so pretty. And then it has several sets. So if this is like your decor aesthetic or whatever, when it comes to like holiday or, you know, entertaining, girl, check out Ross. These were so cute. It was just too much for me. <laughs> Listen, if you hear that noise in the background, child, I am in the carpool line and I am editing this video so y'all can have this video today. So it's cars around me. People are talking. Kids are running between cars and they are cutting the yard. So you're going to get what I get. Okay. All right, y'all. So this is what I'm talking about. You see all these. I really think that these would be nice with those candles that come with the remote um, I've seen several of them in the pack at really good prices at Sam's and Costco. So, I mean, that's fine and dandy, but I was really looking for something to put my candles in. I didn't re really like the blue color um, candle holders. And some of them that I did see, I felt like the top opening wasn't large enough. I don't really have anything silver, so that's why I left that one. But this gold on here looks really cheap on this actual... Um, I don't know what you call that. Um, I guess a candle holder or vessel or whatever. This one wasn't too bad. They had some other gold ones that kind of went along with them. It was just a bit too shiny. So my gold is a little bit more um, antique gold when it comes in color. 
to my um, decor so I just feel like it was too bright otherwise I would have bought two of these and one of the actual like Voss like shape ones and that would have worked perfectly but I just didn't like the color if I got these and actually it does come with glass don't let me, don't get me wrong some of these uh, lanterns come with glass or whatever but they I would just be scared as the catch on fire child so I left all of them there I was kind of disappointed now this table is so stinking cute I really I almost bought both of these oh my goodness to put in the living room on the uh, side of the sofas like or whatever but um just for, like the whole your drinker some of the table was really cute and um this table y'all this table wasn't easy leaving but if i had two of those put together would have been my table for my living room and there's no way to, for ross to check the other stores they said they don't do that i think they do i think mine just doesn't but that's fine so i'll probably just be on the hunt for some more items uh, coming up soon because i want to finish the living room area now, now that i've moved my table upstairs into my library area but um yeah that's pretty much it y'all i didn't see a lot at all and really and truly i'm just trying to focus on what i went in there for i did take a picture of this lamp right here it's like what is that called holographic i don't know what that's called iridescent iridescent girl i did take a picture of that i was like penny might like that it was really cute um she likes the stuff that sparkles or whatever. She's just not picky at all. But if we put a lot of color in her room, her bedding will have to probably stay white and the pillows will have to be her accent color. Um, so she's not overwhelmed. But yeah, we'll be on Pinterest and everywhere else. Stay tuned. I'll be painting her room uh, within the weeks to come. Within the next three weeks, we'll be done with her room, I'm sure. And we will be sharing it with you all. So if you're interested, stay tuned, friend. I will see y'all in the next video. Hopefully next week we get a better deal at shopping at Aldi's and more things come through. And um, stay tuned for some more food prep videos and some more dinners that I'm preparing. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace and blessings.